Hey everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again tonight and I'm doing a, just a hot spot jig nymph, tactical nymph, very quick tie, uh, very versatile, you can adjust the sizing to suit yourself, the weight to suit yourself where you're fishing and what have you. So this is a size 12, um, but obviously 12s to 18s at least. 10s to 18s if you like uh, and I've got a 3.5mm tungsten bead on the hook already and I'm just going to wind on some 6 aught olive thread obviously you could go to 3.8 if you wish maybe down to 3 um, tie them in different weights uh, and I'm using a black bead for this because I want it to sort of blend slightly with the darker dubbing and in the hot spot so tail is as usual cock the leon and it's got a bit of shank length so come on just take a turn to hold it then the rib, I'm um, going to rub it with uh, some small silver wire. This is just the UTC wire. You can use whatever you like. And as usual, I'm just going to push my wire in the back of the bead. And tie it in. And then you can throw away your waist for the cock de leon. Just tidy everything up. And I'm going to sort of build a wee taper in the body. You don't really need to do this, but I like to. So to do that, I'm just going to run the thread. Three quarters of the way down and back to the bead. Halfway down, back to the bead. A quarter of the way down, back to the bead. And then back to the, the bottom there. So the body, I'm going to use um, sow scud dubbing. I'm using dark sow bug. Um, it's kind of dark olivish grey, so it's this you know it kind of is a decent, a decent represented representation of quite a few sort of maybe may like mayfly nymphs, darker mayfly nymphs, that kind of thing. It just looks, but it's I mean it's fairly a kind of generic small nymph. It could be any number of things, so. I'm just going to wind this forward, forming my abdomen. And then I'll just take my rib up. About five turns. Come across my thread. Tie that off. Alright, so right, hot box spot. I'm using SLF dubbing and fluorescent yellow. Obviously, you can change you can change the colours, but I would advise going with a fluorescent uh, a fluorescent colour because it just really pops. And even though this will darken down when it get in the water over the black the dark red, but it will still fluoresce. And then I've got what appears to be quite a lot of dubbing here, but I've just got to keep winding it on. It's quite tight. And then sweep everything back. 
one with a few really tight wraps. Your thread will sort of slide down behind the bead. Give you a nice base. And I'm just going to tear away the sort of longest fibres. It's quite a long fibre dubbing. And that's the tying done. Just a quick whip finish. And again. So you get the dark body, the dark bead, just this bright fluorescent yellow hot spot, um, which as I say when it gets wet, because the SLS is kind of translucent it will, the dark thread will sort of show through but it will still pop. So simple nymph. Very effective. Great for your sort of tactical short line nymphing. I hope that was useful. I hope you tie some of these, stick them in your box, and uh, catch some fish in them. Tight lines, guys. Bye.